Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today I want to talk to you about an introduction to death magic. When I was recently in communication with Santa Morte as well as Hicate, I was asking what areas of magic can I excel in? I was pretty much, for lack of um, better terms, discouraged from delving any further into the Kalipoth. And I said that, well, what areas of magic can I excel at if I'm not dealing with that? And it was put across to me, shadow magic and death magic. I was always under the impression that I had to deal with the Kalippa full force to have that understanding of death magic. And Hecate was like, no, you don't have to deal with that. You can learn death magic through Nyx. If you know anything about the Greek pantheon, Nyx is the sister of Hecate, as well as the sister of Athena. Who I spoke about in a earlier video. And I want to say something. Is when you are dealing with death energy. If you ever want to know. If someone is going to meet their demise. For those who are blessed and know how to read auras. The fastest way to know. If you ever see gray around an individual. This means that they're pretty much about to check out. If you ever see an individual with gray around their aura, this means that they're dying. They're atrophying. This not only speaks to human beings, but it also speaks to if you are amongst trees. But you can still do some things even if a tree is dying you still can do magic with a tree even though it's dying so in learning more and more I also a few days later when I was speaking with Hecate I picked up a technique that I can merge my consciousness with death itself and I can ward off imposter spirits or malevolent entities and this is something that I eventually want to share with my students and when you are dealing with death magic basically look at it like this it'll come down to Freddy Krueger meets Harry Potter to just give a simplification of it in other words it takes years of learning this but once you learn it you can kill and pretty much you can wipe out somebody's etheric body on the astral plane and within days or months later they will die in the physical so this is something that I don't take lightly under any circumstances. And. Like I said. Santa Morte. Put that across to me. As well as Hecate. And what's ironic. And I do want to share this with everyone. That's listening to this video. Is that. In order for. Your magic to progress. Don't get caught up on. How quick it'll happen. It can happen. In days. Weeks. Or months. Or years. Period. Point blank. When I first started studying. One of the first grimoires. Was the Necronomicon spell books. And at first. I didn't think it was working. But it did. It took years for it to work but it worked so 
with dealing with death magic. Santa Morte is one of the people that can help you with that as well as Nyx from the Greek Pantheon. She can help you with it. Also, shamans have a very good understanding of that. So I'm pretty much dealing with that. It'll take some years, but I'm going to get a handle on it. So if you ever want to know if someone's going to die of me, their demise, if you see gray around their aura, that pretty much is letting you know. So that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.